waxing poetic about Adrian that big freshman year that he had. And I mean, shoot, even the Heisman came up a few times back then. As his career went along, it was, wow, his back is hurting. He's doing everything. So when you, Schaefer, are talking about Jalen Lloyd going deep, Thomas Fedoni, an improved offensive line, it's not too far-fetched to think, could we get up? A better freshman Adrian built from there. Freshman Adrian Martinez had Stanley Morgan and J.D. Spielman. Eventually, he had Austin Allen to throw to, but they, they chose not to. <laughs> um, not Adrian's decision or Austin's decision here. Uh, just Nebraska's offensive schematics. But he had pieces. And then we saw in 2019 and 2020, when you took away Stanley Morgan, when you took away Divino Zigbo, when you asked for Adrian Martinez to have to be Superman, Ultimately, there wasn't enough around them. That's why I think Dylan Raiola enters a much better situation. They have better pieces. Now, I, do I wish they had the running back situation completely solved? Absolutely. Is there a chance that that could be much better than I think that it will be? Yes. Uh, but that's, that's probably the last vestige on this offense, at least for this upcoming season, where I have a real question. I think the offensive line is going to be good. you got a lot of veterans. you got a lot of starts there. I know Thomas Fedoni is going to be good. He's coming off of a healthy two-year run. I'm excited to see what that looks like. I think we kind of forget that you can't develop when you're having to rehab all the time. And so the jump that he might make from last year to this year is pretty substantial. We've got these wide receivers. So there's all of these pieces. And if he can stay on time, if Marcus Satterfield can find nice rhythm as a play caller, there's really – all the reason in the world Nebraska's offense can take a seismic jump from last year. Besides just trading out Riola and Harvard, there's a lot of other good things going on with this offense.